welcome back to my channel. For today's video, we're gonna be testing out some more new makeup, and today we're gonna to focus on high-end makeup. My last first impressions was all drugstore and affordable products, but you guys know I like to sprinkle in a little bit of high-end makeup in the mix every once in a while. So I hope you guys enjoy. Definitely, of course, grab a snack, get cozy, and let's hang out and test out some new products. Okay, so first up, I have a new eyeshadow palette. This is the new Too Faced Too Femme eyeshadow palette. How cute is this packaging? It's adorable, perfect for spring. And these are the colors. They look so pretty. So I am going to jump into this light baby pink and I'm going to apply that as my transition shade. I feel like I haven't used a Too Faced palette in a while. And I've seen a couple people using this. So we're going to do a little pop of teal on the lid. Okay, so this color is really light. I did prime, by the way. I just used my Rare Beauty eyeshadow primer. Then I'm going to take this shade right here, which is more of like a mid-tone peachy soft brown. I'm just going to basically add that over this pink because the pink is this, even building it up. It's just not super vibrant. Then I'm going to go into this burgundy shade. Actually, it's like a brighter burgundy pink. And I'm going to apply that on the outer lid. Okay, this color's cute. I feel like the shades are pigmented, but they're not like super intense. They do build up, but I feel like with Too Faced, a lot of the eyeshadows are definitely hit or miss. Some are better than others in my opinion. But this one, I mean, it seems to be pretty nice. So I'm gonna take that teal shade and I'm gonna apply it all over the lid. I definitely feel like I'm gonna have to go in with some concealer just to make it pop a little bit more because it is like a matte pastel. And normally colors like this, like you need some sort of like tacky base or like a cream eyeshadow or something to just really make it pop a little bit more. I'm gonna start with the shade dry just to see how it applies, but I feel like I'm pretty sure I'm gonna have to go in with concealer. And I'm just gonna, oh wow. Okay, wait, it's actually showing up a lot more pigmented than I thought. Ooh, that's pretty. I feel like it could definitely pop more with concealer though, like for sure, which is I think what I'm gonna do regardless because I really want that to like just be the main moment of this look. I'm gonna just use some concealer and I'm gonna just go over that and then just make that pop a little bit more. I'm gonna use my LYS concealer. I've been loving this one. As far as new high-end concealers, this is the newest one that I tested out and it's so good. But I'm gonna just take that and just carve out the lid a little bit. Okay, now let's add that teal and that should really pop now even more. I'm gonna build it up quite a bit. Oh yeah, once you build it up, I feel like with the concealer, it really shows more of like the true color, as you can see. And I'm gonna fix that and blend in just a minute. I'm just like really packing on the shade to get it to be super vibrant. I love the way it, it smells. Like I feel like it's really pleasant. It's really light, but it does smell really nice. Okay, this is cute. This looks a mess right now because I need to blend it, but I love this shade. You do have to build it up though. Even with the concealer, like it's when you dip your brush in and you apply the color, it's not super vibrant. You have to really like pack on the color and kind of layer it. I'm gonna go back in with that blending brush that I was using on the outer lid and just kind of blend the edges of this out a little bit. I might do a shimmer in the center. You guys know I love to do that because I feel like it really like just adds a little extra pop, but also helps to like diffuse the shades a little bit better. Might not even go in with the shimmer. I don't know, we'll see. Oh, it's definitely like cotton candy vibes and I am here for it. I'm gonna take my all-time favorites, my e.l.f. eye tapes. If you guys have been with me since I first started using these, you're the real OG. I love these for so many different looks. And I know you could just use tape, but these are so affordable and you can just cut them in half and they last forever. And it's much more gentle around your eye area versus just using regular tape. So I love these. So I'm gonna go in with the dark brown and just do a little smoky wing.
All right, now this is the best part is removing the tape. It's really light, but it's cute. It's a cute little wing. There's also, I want to say like pretty minimal fallout as far as the palette goes, which is good as well. I think it's just because the shadows aren't super, super pigmented. Now I have a new mascara. This is the Milk Makeup Rise Mascara. I love this packaging. It's like so pretty. It's like a grippy texture. I really like it. The wand on this is a like slightly curved wand. I like the shape of it and I like the size too because it doesn't look too big. Okay, volume, length, and separation. You see, that is like nice gives you volume gives you some length also does separate your lashes but it's still really natural and it doesn't look clumpy which is nice do you guys like to spend a lot of money on mascaras because i personally feel like there's a lot of good high-end mascaras but there's also a lot of amazing drugstore mascaras so like for me i always say it's not 100 percent necessary to splurge in my opinion but this is nice though i will say you can see it's like actually showing up on my lashes so we'll see how this looks on the lower lashes later and i'll keep you guys updated on if this flakes throughout the day okay let's try out some new lashes these are the gimme lash and these are in the style. I think it's faux X rated right here, but they just look really pretty and wispy. Okay, these are pretty. They're very curly, very full. They kind of remind me of like very like voluminous lash extensions. Okay, but like I think I really love these lashes. They are a little bit more dramatic, but they're just so full and fluffy and the band is really flexible. So I was able to apply them like very easily. So I'm gonna start with a little bit of like a glowy spray beforehand. And this is the Patrick Ta Dewy Milk Mist. I have used this a couple times and I use it sometimes like whenever I'm going out and I just want like a little extra dew. And it has a really light spritzer on it. Like it's a, just almost like a mist on your skin. And then now for primer, I have this Peach and Lily Skin Shield Blurring Primer. It's supposed to prime and smooth you out. The pump is not working for some reason, so I'm gonna just put some out like this. <laughs> Wow, it feels really smooth and hydrating. So it's supposed to give you smoother, cushiony, radiant skin and also minimize the appearance of pores. I don't really feel like it's super pore filling, but I do feel like it makes your skin very soft and definitely hydrating, which is nice. Okay, now for foundation. I'm really excited about this. This is the Kosas Reviler, or Reviler? Revealer Skin Improving Foundation. This one has SPF 25 in it and I got this one in the shade Light Neutral Warm 170. I've tried the Kosas concealer and honestly, it's not my favorite. I forget when I tested it out. I I want to say it was like over a year ago but everybody's loving this foundation so i'm like i gotta see what all the hype is about so i'm gonna just do one pump and this might be too light but we're gonna have to make it work because it's the only foundation that i have so i'm gonna start with a brush actually i'm just gonna use a brush for my entire face because this is the brush that i love for foundation it's the haley's beauty brilliant kabuki this is definitely a, i think a little bit too light like just like a smidge but I feel like it's doable just because I have no color to me, so. Oh wow, it's pretty. It's very skin-like. I didn't even read what the claims are. Okay, so this is a medium coverage foundation. It's supposed to give you brighter, hydrated, more soothed, protected, and plumped skin. And it says it's supposed to like give you like your most vibrant skin without that makeup-y feeling, which I agree. Like right now, this is blending really nicely into my skin. And I feel like it's almost just looking like my skin, you know, like super natural. There's still a little bit of like my skin peeking through. So it definitely doesn't have like intense coverage, but that's not what this product is. It's meant to be something that's like really lightweight, but with medium coverage, which I appreciate because sometimes I don't want something that's like too light to the point where it doesn't even look like I'm wearing any foundation. So just adding a little bit more just to even everything out. I did like less than half a pump. Wow, it's pretty. I actually really like the way this looks. I think. The color is actually pretty on point. Like like I said, it might be a little bit too light, like just a smidge, but I can definitely bronze my skin and make it look a little bit more even with other products. But you see, it's very pretty. The finish is natural. There's a little bit of like dew peeking through, but it's like very subtle. I'm gonna go in with the LYS Triple Fix Full Coverage Concealer. If you guys have not tried this, I definitely recommend. I actually did a full face of LYS Beauty and this concealer has been my go-to. So it gives you coverage and you can build it up, but it's almost just like 
smooth and with like also natural medium coverage that's buildable but like it's so skin like there's very minimal creasing with it and coming from me that's a big deal because a lot of my concealers tend to just settle into my fine lines which i mean most of them they all do but some concealers will emphasize my fine lines a little bit more and I feel like this one doesn't. And this just launched as well, so it is still fairly new, but I'm really impressed with like the coverage, the wearability, and just how it looks on the skin after multiple hours. And I like to add just more because like I said, I feel like you can do that with this concealer. And I like the little extra coverage that it gives. I have two new cream blushes. So I have one from Item Beauty. I have swatched this and it looks really pretty. It's like a bright pink. So I'm gonna do one cheek with this and then I'm gonna do Patrick Ta She's That Girl blush on the other side. So I love these blushes. I talked about these in so many videos, but this is a new color and like, look at this pink. So I'm gonna do one on one side, one on the other. I think I'm gonna probably love this one a little bit more as far as the shade, but they're both completely different by the way, like as far as the consistencies and textures go. This one is definitely more of like a cushiony kind of bouncy blush. Whereas the Patrick Ta, I feel like is a little bit more like a dewy and I don't know, it's different, but let's try out Item Beauty. And this one is in, oopsies. Oh, okay, this is actually a lot more wearable than I thought. I thought it was gonna be like more bright and intense, but it's actually really soft and pretty easy to blend. Like I feel like I just kind of applied that and that was it, that took like no effort. I'm sure you can build it up because I feel like with cream blush, like it's hard to mess up blush, I feel like. And I'm sure obviously the more that you add, the more color that you're gonna get. Cause I just did about two layers and I feel like that is like the perfect hot pink. So now for the Patrick Ta blushes. So it's funny because at first I thought that you do the cream and then the powder over top, but technically with these you apply the powder and then the cream over top, but I'm going to just do it how I like to do it just because I want to try out the cream and see how it looks compared to this one on this side. actually really similar to the one from item beauty they almost look identical especially when you build them up but patrick toss formula is just like incredible and i love these blushes because you do get that cream and powder so it's almost like you get two blushes for one which is why i really like it because especially since it's a high-end product i feel like with certain products i like to justify the price if obviously the quality is amazing but if like the product is actually really practical and i feel like this is so practical and i really like it the one from item beauty is nice as well though the colors are similar i think the one from patrick is slightly a little bit less like hot pink and more of just like a natural pink but they're both stunning nonetheless and they both blend it out really nicely i'm just gonna blend out my little creases because i always like to do this right before i'm about to set because i have a new powder here so this is the say cosmetics air set radiant loose setting powder and i picked up this one in the shade translucent and this is what it looks like so pretty I feel like it slightly darkens the complexion a little bit. Like I feel like my under eyes were looking a little bit brighter and then when I put the powder on, I feel like it kind of just made that area look slightly darker. I do have a brightening powder though, so it's not a huge deal, but just something to keep in mind. I'm gonna use a little bit more and just set the rest of my makeup. I feel like no matter what I do, I have to set my face because if not my products, they're just gonna not stay put all day because I have combo skin. And my skin hasn't been super oily, but I feel like for me, setting is a must. Okay, this powder doesn't feel terrible. It feels actually really natural on the skin, doesn't feel dry. It's nice for setting other creams. You can see it doesn't take away the color of the cream blushes, which I really like. Okay, so I'm just gonna add a little bit of a brightening powder under my eyes, just because I feel like I need a little extra a little extra something so i'm gonna go in with the jacqueline cosmetics brightening and setting palette i've heard really good things about this so i'm excited because this is actually my first complexion product from jacqueline cosmetics so this one is in the shade light which i think is going to be a little bit too light but i'm going to try to make it work they didn't have the medium one when i went into ulta so i was like okay i think maybe this could work so I think I'm gonna mix these two shades here on the bottom and I'm just gonna use my Real Techniques setting brush and I'm gonna dip into both of them and then just apply that right under my eyes. Okay. 
Okay, we actually don't think this is too light. I think it's it's good. It adds like this almost like smoothing effect to the skin. Like it looks bright, but still like really smooth. The formula doesn't feel powdery. You can see that just like, I feel like brightened and smoothed everything out really nicely. Wow. Okay, this looks really nice. I like that it like brightened and highlighted my under eyes, but it still looks very smooth and it doesn't feel cakey or like I added another layer of powder. Like it still feels really lightweight on the skin. I'm gonna add a little bronzer. I'm gonna use my LYS bronzer. You guys already know this is one of my favorites. This is like a very successful first impressions for the most part. Like I haven't had any fails. I haven't had to wipe off my makeup, so that is good. Now I have this little blush and highlighter duo. This is from Iconic London. It is the Silk Glow Duo in Rose Glow. Looks so pretty. I know I have that Patrick Ta powder, but I'm gonna just use this on both sides because I feel like all the pinks, like they all like look the same. So I'm just gonna add this color. Oh, that's pretty. There's a little bit of like a gold glitter shimmer to it as well. I don't know if you're gonna be able to tell, but it's there and it's pretty. And this brush, by the way, is from BH. It's from the Weekend Vibes brush set and it's the number three brush. Wow, this brush is bright. It's actually more pigmented than I thought it was gonna be too. Yeah, there is like some, it almost looks like glitter in it. Like, oh yeah, you can't really tell unless you actually swatch the product, but it's like a pink with some gold like shimmer glitter but it's actually light and pretty i don't find it to be like excessive i'm gonna use my sponge and i'm gonna take that highlighter and i'm gonna dip in here and i've been doing this quite a bit and i like just going over the blush with some of the highlighter because i feel like it adds a little bit of a glow but it also tones down the blush if you add a little bit too much i also feel like when i apply my highlighter with a sponge it almost like presses the product into the skin a little bit more and then it doesn't look like there's like a stripe on my face like it's just a little bit more seamless i like that that's pretty this is a cute little duo it comes in other shades as well this is nice all right let's go back to the eyes and i'm just going to finish up the lower lashes and for the inner corners i'm going to take this shimmery teal i am going to spray my brush so let's do that and i'm just gonna add that right in the inner corners that is so pretty i'm gonna take a little bit of that pink burgundy shade i'm also gonna add in some of that purple shimmer as well just kind of mixing that i'm gonna put that right here oh that's like really light that doesn't really actually show up a ton oh yeah i also have a new eyeliner for the waterline which is perfect that purple doesn't really show up on the lower lashes, so I'm just going in with that pink instead. For the waterline, I have a new liner, which is a big deal because I normally don't really splurge on high-end liners. I do like the Urban Decay ones, but I saw these actually on TikTok and they looked really good. These are the Melt Cosmetics Slick Waterline Eye Pencils, and I just got the nude shade. It's in the color Ivory, which is just a creamy nude. So I'm gonna line my waterline. Ooh, wow. Look at that, that just like glided on. I'm barely, like I'm doing this so lightly. I'm like barely touching my waterline. That is creamy and super pigmented. And now we can test out the Milk Makeup Mascara on the lower lashes. Looks good, I think I like this more for the top lashes than the lower, but it works. Okay, now for lips, I have a new lipstick here from ABH. So these come in a velvet finish as well as a matte finish. And I picked up the shade Soft Brown, of course, and Toffee. And Toffee is a little bit more of a deeper, darker brown. So here we have Soft Brown. It is just that. I feel like it's, it's brown, but it almost has like a peachy, kind of orangey, like undertone to it. And then the other one that I have is Toffee, and this one is a matte finish really pretty this kind of reminds me of the like the formula like the makeup by mario lipsticks or like the milani color fetish matte lipstick it's like that very like soft suede matte formula and then these are just like a creamy lipstick i'm gonna go with soft brown though because i feel like that's very fitting with today's look and i'm gonna add a gloss that i think is gonna be perfect with this look 
So that's like one layer. Okay, so this actually kind of feels and reminds me of like a lip balm with a slight tint to it. Definitely super creamy and hydrating for sure. You can see the finish of it. I actually don't really like the way this looks with the eye makeup, but it's okay. I'm gonna add a little bit of lip liner because I feel like I need some definition to my lips. I'm gonna use the shade Conspiracy from Urban Decay. Lip liner makes such a difference. Kind of also, you know what it reminds me of a little bit? Of like a ColourPop lippy stick. Because if you guys are familiar with that formula, it's like really, really hydrating. Like it just feels so creamy on your lips. That's what the ABH lipstick reminds me of when I applied it. I'm going to top this off with a little gloss. I have this one here from Fenty. It is the Cream Gloss Balm in the shade Mauve Wives like a pastel just so wearable this is not new i've already tried this before but i love these cream glosses they just give you the most perfect glossy finish so that, i think that's pretty much it i'm gonna go ahead and set my makeup i'm gonna use the smashbox photo finish weightless setting spray and then i'm gonna top that off with a little bit of the patrick ta just to add some dew this is one of my all-time favorite high-end setting sprays by the way it's really good okay you know what time it is speed review time. So first of all, obsessed with this look. It's definitely giving me all the spring vibes, so I'm here for it. First, the Too Faced palette. I think this palette is nice. It's definitely really beautiful as far as like the packaging and everything. I like the colors, but I do wish there were more pops of colors because if you take away the teal, it's really just like another neutral palette. So I honestly don't think this is necessary. You can definitely get pretty like pops of color from so many other more affordable brands. I kind of feel the same way about the mascara. I think it's a nice mascara. I don't think it's 100% necessary i do prefer it for my top lashes it's a really nice formula great wand i'll let you guys know how this wears throughout the day and if it flakes i do really like this melt cosmetics slick waterline eye pencil i mean the way that it just glided on my waterline without me having to put in a lot of effort was amazing and i think the complexion is definitely my favorite this kosas foundation is stunning i mean right now it's looking good and i will of course wear this throughout the day and i'll check back in with you guys later on but this is so beautiful it's very lightweight has nice coverage though and it's just very breathable, but like really pretty on the skin. This Say Cosmetics powder, I actually do like. I like the fact that it set my makeup, but it's not dry and it didn't really add like that powdery or like dusty kind of look. Like it really just set everything really nicely. It's not my favorite for the under eyes just because I feel like it definitely did kind of darken the under eyes a little bit, but I think for setting the face, it is nice. I will take a photo with flash. Actually, let's do that now and see how it looks and if there's any flashback. Let's see. Mm, okay, it looks pretty good. I think it does look a little bit light, but that's because of that Jaclyn Cosmetics powder, but I don't think it looks terrible. So I will definitely keep using this and keep you guys updated on it, but I do like the finish of it. The formula is comfortable. I really like the Jaclyn Brightening Palette. I surprisingly feel like the shades are actually doable, and I like how bright but smooth and lightweight it was on the under eyes. This Iconic London Duo was also really pretty. I like the combination of the shades and the formula of each of the, sh uh, the blush and the highlighter was nice as well. I'm trying to like get this open. <laughs> This is really stunning. Nice formula. It's pigmented and this especially I think is really pretty. It's almost like a baked blush effect on the cheeks and I really like that. I also love the cream blushes that I tried. The one from Item Beauty is really nice. It's like a really natural soft matte finish and then if you want something a little bit more dewy I would say go with the Patrick Ta blush duo. This is stunning. I love the shades of pink. And then the lipsticks from ABH. I think they're nice. Again, I don't really feel like they're necessary but I just wanted to try them because I haven't tried an ABH lip product in a while. This is a really comfortable lipstick though, what I have on my lips today. It's just, you know, it just comes down to like, do you want to spend that much on a lipstick? It's nice, but there's definitely some more better, like more affordable options. And then the Peach and Lily Primer. I thought this was nice. I don't really see anything like life-changing on the skin. Like when I applied it, it wasn't really anything that blew me off my seat, but you know, it did what it had to do. So I will come back in a few hours and check in with you guys and keep you updated on how everything looks. Hey guys, it is now about 7 p.m. almost. So I've been wearing this makeup for about almost like eight hours because I started applying around 11 or so. And this is what everything looks like. I have not touched up. I did take off my lashes. I don't know if you guys can tell, but there is a lot of flaking with a mascara, which is something that I typically struggle with with a lot of mascaras. That's why I only really have a couple that I tend to like just keep in rotation that I love because this happens very often. But not a huge deal because besides that, I do think the makeup looks amazing. This foundation is stunning. Like I feel like it wears so beautifully there's like no shine peeking through and I didn't even use anything that was like oil control or anything so I typically do get pretty shiny on my forehead right in between my brows and I have no issues with that today like I think it looks really good the only thing is I'm just gonna like dust away a little bit of these flakes so we can really kind of see the makeup there is some glitter that kind of like 
I don't know, I guess from like the inner corners, it must have like fell off on my face or something. But other than that, I think the makeup does look really beautiful. You can still see the blush there. It is a little cakey around my nose, which tends to happen. I could probably use something a little bit more smoothing in that area. For the most part, the foundation is still put. It looks really good. It's still very smooth. It's not overly shiny. I really like this powder too, like just to set the makeup. I think it's nice. I do feel like there is a little bit of like a just very natural radiance peeking through. I feel like if anything, my under eyes could probably use a little bit of a touch up just because of the glitter and the mascara and everything that I had under there, but it like still looks good overall. Probably just add maybe a little bit of powder just to show you guys that like with a little powder. Ooh. That Jaclyn powder, wow. If you use it with a sponge, it's definitely intense. Overall, really love the products. First impressions and like my thoughts that I had earlier, I feel like still stand true. And I will definitely keep, of course, testing out these products and keep you guys updated. If you have tried any of these, let me know your thoughts. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I hope this was helpful. And until next time, I'll see you guys very soon in my next video. Bye.